if you believe how do you you have no proof if you believe how do you have no proof or guarantee if you believe how do you have no proof or guarantee The Bible says we believe in those things that are not. As though they were. How about knowing? Because we are witnesses. The purpose of scriptures is to build our faith. That is, scriptures tell us of things we don't know as though we were there. So faith is when we speak of the things that are not as though they are. This is the beginning of our journey as Christians. But it does not make us to stay there. There is room of growth. Talk to your neighbor. There is room of growth, which is knowledge. When you believe, you have got no proof. You have got no guarantee. Listen to this. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is a guarantee. It's proof. So we cannot believe into proof. What you have proof of, you know. You don't believe in it. How do you know? You know. Why it? You have proof. You must understand that scriptures are not the word of God. The word of God is not scriptures. Scriptures are not the word of God. And the word of God is not scriptures. Are you aware that scriptures do not have proof of God's word? They are only a direction that points to us where we can get proof. So anytime you believe, you will doubt. Do you know why? You don't have proof. The minute you have proof, you cannot believe now you know I've got no any other mission than to make you aware of the word of God in season John 5 39 let's go John chapter 5 verse 39 you search the scriptures uh -huh. because you think they give you eternal life you search the scriptures because you think they will give you eternal life. Now, you know. Why are we here? Why have you decided to come here today? Remember what I taught you the house of God is not where we solve our problems. It's a place of 
spiritual growth. Are you hearing me? It's a place of what? Spiritual growth. So, if we are coming for spiritual growth, what is it that we are running after? There should be something that we are looking for, which the scriptures are making us very aware of. That any time we are looking at the scriptures, we are looking for eternal life. But the scriptures are saying to us, what you are looking for is not in us. It may be somewhere else not in this book. Many of the Christians today are idol worshippers. Many worship this book you are carrying which is not the word of God. It has got wickedness in it, adulterous in it, blessing in it, curses in it, witchcraft in it, theft in it. Continue. You search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. Uh -huh. But the scriptures point to me. The scriptures are only pointing. They are only pointing to Jesus. They are not the word which gives eternal life. They are only pointing to the word. So the day you find the word, you find eternal life. Until you find the word, you are empty. Read. Huh. Uh -huh. You search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. They give you eternal life. Remember? Jesus Jesu. is eternal life. <laughs> Because this is in the beginning. The word that began the beginning. And this word is eternal life. That the scriptures are denying that he is not here. Where many are looking for him, he is not there. Okay, read. You search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life, mm. but the scriptures point to me. The scriptures are only pointing to him. Continue. Yet you refuse to come to me to receive this life. You are refusing to come to me so that you can receive this life you are looking for. So until you come to him, you will not receive this life you are looking for. This life is not in the scriptures. That means eternal life is not in faith. It is only found in his presence. It's not in the scriptures. Only if you could find me, you could find this life you are looking for. Meaning that eternal life is only in his presence. That is why sometimes when you take your Bible, you, you want to sleep with your Bible to chase away witchcraft. You find that day many witches are coming to attack you. Because what you are trying to avoid is also written in that book. <laughs> Read. Are you hearing The same book you are trying to use as a weapon. 
Okay, let me show you where the weapon is. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Let's go. Because Haggai, Bible 4, verse 12. For the word of God is Not alive. Not the scriptures. It's in the demand. For the word of God. For the word of God. Is what? Is alive. Is alive. Latela. For the word of God is alive. Not the scriptures. It's in the man. The scriptures are a manifestation of what was spoken. And they are meant to draw your faith. To keep you stronger in what you are hoping for until you are knowledgeable of it. So, no matter how many times you are reading Psalms 91, you do not perform anything in your life until you speak the word. So, the word of God is what? Alive. So this word that I'm speaking to you now, this is where life is. What you are hearing that is coming out of my mouth now, this is where this life you are looking for is. So it's simple. Identify people that speak it. Simple. Continue. Uh -huh. For the word of God is alive and powerful. Uh -huh. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. Let me tell you. When I'm teaching you like this, your spirit is forced to be attentive. And you are able to pick what I'm saying because it's vibrations reaching your ears and moving quickly to your brain. It's not like when you are reading. Because when you are reading, you can be your own obstacle to what you are reading. That's why, no matter how good a student is, they will still need the presence of a teacher.